Hey guys, what's up? Redman Toys Raymond here and welcome to Redman Toys Airsoft Philippines. So for this video guys, let us test and unbox uh, one of our newest products. So this is the KJ Works um, M4 Risk or C8. I think this is the M4 Risk 3. I'm not familiar. Uh, I didn't memorize. Um, we'll check later. Okay. So this is a gas blowback rifle or gas blowback carbine from KJ Works Taiwan. Okay. So this is in all aluminum uh, handguard. Okay. Then this is the uh, full metal die cast metal and the plastic handle or grip and uh, plastic buttstock. Okay, crane stock. I don't know. I'm not sure what uh, stock is this. This is not a crane stock. I'm sorry. Okay. So for the uh, iron sight, it's actually made of plastic. And it has a uh, fiber optic for the front sight. And it's also flipped up. Okay. Like that. Okay. So this is a uh, gas blowback and it's an open bolt okay it actually has a really good quality especially comparing to we okay and uh, one of the thing i noticed with this uh, gas blowback rifle is the trigger it's um, soft the trigger is soft it's easy to pull the trigger it's not like um, the we which is slightly uh, harder to pull okay There it is. So before we test this unit, let me just show you the unboxing video of this carbine. Okay, so here it is. So here it is guys. So this is the unboxing. But this is the box actually. So this is the KG Works M4 carbine C8. Okay, version 3. So this is the latest version from KG Works. Okay, so this is the box so they have here some warning okay adult supervision required okay so 18 years of age so yeah okay so here's the unit okay so as usual we have here the catalog and the manual and some parts list okay then we have here the c8 magazine right it's not the same as the typical m4 magazine okay it's slightly uh, stylier so here's the unit it's in plastic okay and uh, this is the 0.25 gram bbs okay so this is the loader or the feeder for the magazine okay so there's the that's what's in the box so there you go guys you see the unboxing video of this carbine this uh airsoft carbine okay so before i forget um let me show you the magazine okay this is the uh, c8 magazine it has a cool uh, design not like the conventional m4 mags okay now as you can see this is like uh what, what do you, how should i say it this is like the m4 the we magazine this is so that this is like a lock so that you don't activate the uh, open bolt something like that okay so you just you you press it downwards then once it's locked even though you don't have any more bb it's not going to lock the bolt or it's not going to open bolt okay so this is the, the setting okay. so look at this the, the back one so this is the uh, the valve where, where, you, where you press so i'm going to pull this down as you can notice we'll see yeah there you go okay the that back part that is what's pushing the bolt to the bolt stopper okay 
right now this is the uh, bb loaders okay so you need to use this in order for you to fill the magazine with uh, plastic bbs okay so now um, we're going to do an fps test okay so we're going to put some bbs into the magazine we're going to use this one insert it like this on top okay now it's actually going to lock here then you're going to put the loader or the pusher i think this is actually made of aluminum you insert it like that okay and then you're going to use a bb loader or you can just pour it here like that uh, I think it's uh, it would be recommended to just put only around 15 BBs so that this pusher is not going to be too high. So make sure that it's around here so that it's easier to push. Okay, something like this. Okay, so let's put some more BBs. I think that's uh, that's okay. Okay, now I think there is a possibility that you can actually load uh, BBs uh, faster or uh, more simpler. But you have to modify either this hole or this one, the, the, the exit hole of the BB loader. Because as you can see, it doesn't go in. So you have to modify it so that this can go inside here. Once you do that, loading will be easier and loading will be faster. If you insert it and then just keep on pressing. Okay, there you go. Okay, so we're going to remove it now. And then we're going to put some green gas. Okay, you need to put some green gas to power it. Okay, wait. Okay. All right. So we're going to turn on our chronograph so that we can test the power of this unit. Here it is. Okay. So inserting the magazine. Okay. So aside from that, that's slightly loose. Not really that loose, but it's not that very tight. Okay. So it's good because you won't have a hard time inserting the magazine into the uh, magazine well. I don't know. I, I'm not sure if I'm using the correct term. Pardon my definition if I'm correct. I'm incorrect. Okay. So here it is. Insert it like that. And then you pull back. Make sure trigger finger out. Okay. Pull it back. And there you go. Okay, so now we're going to try and see what is FPS. Okay, so we got here 498.3. Okay, we have here 497 okay this unit actually has high fps i've already sold a couple of units and the clients actually came to the store and picked them up that's why i know that this has high fps okay it's 479.4 473 okay so now we're going to test uh, the let's test the rate of fire using the full auto. Okay, let's see. Okay, so the rate of fire is thirteen point nine BB per second, and at a four hundred thirteen point seven FPS. Okay, so there it is. So. Okay, as you can see, it uh, the bolt is uh, open. Okay, the chamber is open. The bolt is locked because there's no more BB in the magazine. Okay, 
So there it is. So the aside from the uh, the better quality, the design of the bolt lock is uh, better compared to Wii. It's actually the same with Lonex and the Golden Eagle design. Okay, the the lock is wider. The, the lock is wider. It's actually from here to there. It goes. It's it's like something like this. Okay, so the lock is on this side, not like the the Wii brand is on the same side. Okay, so we're going to release the lock by just pulling this one. Okay, and then hammer down. Okay, so the same system. If the gun is hammered down, you cannot put the uh, the selector switch to the safe or the I think yeah it's also having a problem putting it in a uh, full auto mode okay just always remember to put it in a uh, semi-auto okay it's going to stay there okay so I guess that's it for our uh, unboxing and testing and review of this uh, KJ Works M4 RIS uh, C8 airsoft carbine okay so thank you for watching guys until next video always remember to stay safe stay great be good and be thankful always god bless everyone bye bye